Namaste friends. So today we are going to learn browser login automation using library in UiPath. Okay, so how will you log into a browser automatically? All I have to do is I have to create a library, create an activity, drag and drop and use multiple times in my project. So this is a great technique and one has to learn what I think. So let's get started with this and see how to log in, how to do a browser login automation using library in UiPath. Okay, for that, go to UiPath Studio and then, and then once you are here, click on the library. Okay, so library, uh, they will ask you what is a library. So library is a place where I can create reusable components. That's a simple answer. So now let me give a name. I'll give browser login package. So I'm going to create a package and I'll create so many activities in, inside that. Uh, and I am going to drag and drop and use it. Okay, so here I will not, um, you know, I'll not create multiple. I'm going to show you the login, the entire one. I'm going to put it in single activity and show you. So let's see that. So let me click on create and show it to you. So what happens now? The library is getting created. Okay, so in the interview, if I they generally ask, have you used libraries? Um, so you should say yes and should be able to explain them that library is a reusable component where I you know I can create I can create a package and use the created activities okay so once I've created library what happens you will find if you click on project you will find the new activity dot XML automatically get created so here I'm going to give a name to it I'll rename it and say so I'm going to log into Acme okay so what is Acme so Acme is a again a website for practice purpose given by UiPath acmetest.uipath.com forward slash login. Okay, so this you must have already signed up in case you did not. Please sign up using your uh, email address and then you can use this. Or else you can practice this with any other browser. Let's say you want to open Gmail or you want to do a browser login for YouTube or you want to log into any other website Amazon, Flipkart. The method remains the same. So now what I'm going to do, I'll copy this particular link. And here I will double click on Acme login.xml file. Okay. And then I see the designer panel. So here what I'm going to do, I'll click on activities and I'll use my first activity as open browser because that is the first thing it will do. Open browser and within open browser, let's put the URL and also let us select which browser I wanted to open. Let's say I want to open in Chrome. So I've selected that. So once you have opened the browser, what is the next thing you want to do? You want to type into and you will click on indicate element inside browser and you are going to type in the email address. Okay. So remember in library, they will ask you in libraries when you are, you, when you are creating library, will you be using a variable or an argument? So the answer is you have to use an argument, not a variable because library is an activity which will take input from the project. So it has to be an argument. So argument has that capability of getting in the data from outside world, right? So I'll be creating an argument here. So there are two options here, variables, arguments. So here you can also do control plus M, M as in might, control plus M. If you do control plus M, it will give you an option to set argument. And here I'm going to say email name of that argument or variable. Okay. And the next one type secure text I'm going to use. So argument is more like a variable only just by it has the ability to take the data from outside of its environment, outside of the workflow. Okay. Type secure text. So here again, click on indicate element. I'm going to highlight the password and after highlighting, you will see on the right hand side, there is something called secure text. There, let me also create an argument, control plus M and the argument name I'm going to give is password. Okay, so two arguments got created. The same thing, you can come here in the arguments and you can see in, in secure string. For the password, email is the normal string. So these are the two different directions it is going to get in the data. Okay, so arguments is got created. Now the next thing I'm going to use is a click activity and I'm going to click on indicate and hit on login. Just by doing this, my workflow for the library is created. Now the second step is to publish it as a package. So to do that, just save this and hit on publish. 
okay so once you hit on the publish you will see the package name as browser login package good go to publish options very important click on the folder very important and then select the package the folder name and click on select folder okay very important step click on publish so now this is done this has been published locally as a package okay a generally any package you install for the activity similar way i am uploading it as a package okay so once the activity is uploaded let's go inside that folder and just have a look so let's go to documents and go to ui path go to browser login package and you will see the new get package it's called new get package has been created and also the activity which i had created right at my login so even that got created okay okay once this is done now i need to now the second question might arise you what if i want multiple such activities in that inside that package yes you can create it go to project and here you add a new sequence okay so that way you can create more number of xml like i have created for acme login acme logout acme all of things you can create okay so once i am done with this next thing i wanted to use inside a project so let's say i am opening a blank process you can click here and open it or else i already have one so let me open that one okay so once your process is open i wanted to use this drag and drop this and use that an activity so that is the magic of library you know you have created an activity for yourself you can drag and drop and use it okay so let me open the workflow all right let me delete whatever was there now here what i am going to do in the activities i want to you know i want to have that package installed so for that what i am going to do this was a previous one so let me just go to settings and let me remove this okay so what i am going to do once you open the manage packages go to settings go to settings and click on this particular three buttons three dots then go to your uh, documents folder go to your ui path folder and select that particular package folder okay select folder so once you do this give a name browser login okay after you do this many people have have challenge you click on add after this they will complain rakesh i am not able to see any packages why because you can see even my package got vanished because if you have any kind of filter selected and select all the filters and you should be able to see your package and click on it done now click on install and save it so what would happen now this entire package is getting locally installed and i can use those activities i will just drag and drop and use it okay that is the magic of library that is the usefulness of library i can create my own custom activities okay so now let it get installed and then i'm going to show you how to really use it okay so now the package is installed now you do one thing you know minimize all of this whatever is open on your uh, activities panel and here if you see in the available there is something got installed called browser login package okay and i have the acme login so what i'm going to do i am going to drag and drop this okay so there is a custom activity which i have created now when i highlight this activity it is asking for two different inputs you remember i have created two arguments email and password the same thing is becoming an input getting getting are you understanding how why i have used an argument so here it has become an input so here i have to pass the values you can directly pass the value but the best method is using windows credential manager for the browser login things okay what is that windows credential manager let's quickly have a look open credit just type credential and open credential manager on your windows okay here what you can do you can create such so let me remove the pre previous one here in this window click on add a generic credential and here give a name of that website where you want to log in enter the username okay username is entered and i will enter the password be very careful okay so ensure everything is correct all right click on okay now once this is done this is stored as a name called acme so what i am going to do i will use an activity called get 
secure credential there is an activity now many people will not find this activity get secure credential reason being you have to install a package go to manage packages and here you have to install a package called uipath.credential.activities okay now you will tell me that is how you got to know about this okay so any activity generally when you highlight you have something called you will get up in the properties panel you will see this uipath.credential.activity the same name you need to go to manage packages and type it is it helping you with a lot of knowledge great so once you have the package installed you will be able to find this activity and use it so get this activity and here all i am going to give is the name of the credential what is the name i am given acme okay and now i want to use the uh, password i want to download that username and password to a variable so control plus k and let me give up the variable called pwd okay this is a separate variable i am creating next go to username and here also i have to download that username i have saved in the windows vault just now you saw so control plus k and i will say user name okay so two variables got created now what i'm going to do using this two variable i will click on the acme login activity and i'm going to pass those so the email is there in the username variable i'm going to pass it and the password is there in the variable called pwd and i'm going to pass it done so my job is done so now you can see your entire project got shortened to two activities now okay this is the magic so now let's run it and see if the browser login automation works or not okay so let me run it and let's see so first thing is to open the acme page and second thing it should enter the email address then enter the password hit on the login and now i am logged in okay so similar way you can also create an activity for logout you can create an activity to do any kind of things that you do repeatedly which is a remember the clause here is reusable component that means you want to use that activity multiple times in your project that's where you go for a library otherwise you can generally do it if something is repeatedly we will be used that is where we will go for a library and create such activities i hope you guys have learned a lot i would request all of you to please like the video that you are watching on our channel please pass some comment on the videos that would help um, let us know how it felt what you what, what did you learn from that um things like that right all are, let, let us know um, because once we read those things it feels good right people are getting benefited i know it has helped or something i need to improve all these things i can know from your comments so thank you very much continue to comment continue to like our videos continue to share our videos thank you so much you guys have a great day bye